Hello and welcome to another reading from the book Our High Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Efficacy of Christ's Blood, February 10th. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you or evil a victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. There's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Efficacy of Christ's Blood it is the blood that maketh an atonement for the soul. Leviticus 17.11 Christ was the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. To many it has been a mystery why so many sacrificial offerings were required in the old dispensation, why so many bleeding victims were led to the altar. But the great truth that was to be kept before men and imprinted upon mind and heart was this. Without shedding of blood is no remission. Hebrews 9.22 In every bleeding sacrifice was typified the Lamb of God which taketh away the sin of the world. John 1.29 Christ himself was the originator of the Jewish system of worship in which, by types and symbols, were shadowed forth spiritual and heavenly things. Today we are living when type has met anti-type in the offering of Christ for the sins of the world. We are living in the day of increased light, and yet how few are benefited with the grand and all-important truth that Christ has made an ample sacrifice for all. What justice requires, Christ had rendered in the offering of himself, and how shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? Hebrews 2, 3 Those who rejected the gift of life will be without excuse. Thank God that he who spilled his blood for us lives to plead it, lives to make intercession for every soul who receives him. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9 the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. It speaketh better things than of Abel, for Christ ever liveth to make intercession for us. We need to keep ever before us the efficacy of the blood of Jesus. That life-cleansing, life-sustaining blood appropriated by living faith is our hope. We need to grow in appreciation of its inestimable value, for it speaks for us only as we by faith claim its virtue, keeping the conscience clean and at peace with God. This is represented as the pardoning blood, inseparably connected with the resurrection and life of our Redeemer, 
illustrated by the ever-flowing stream that proceeds from the throne of God, the water of the river of life. Would you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's tide. There's wonderful power in the blood. There's power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There's power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the The blood of God's dear Son, our precious Savior, Jesus Christ, has not lost its power to cleanse. Thank you for listening today, and please be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.